We're learning the Sikha and Chelek Yiv Zayin on page 343, which is a Sikha on Pirkei Yavis, actually on the Mishnah of Kol Yisrael, that we always say before the Pedic of Pirkei Yavis. The Shir is being learned to the Nishmas, Rabbi Yosef ben Yamin, ben Rabbi Menashe Koltman. This is Minig Yisrael. It's the custom as Fayed and from the Pirkei Before we say the Pedic of Pirkei on the Shabbos, between Pesach and Shavuos, and the Minig Chabad is during the entire summer, Zakman the Mishnah, we say the following Mishnah, which is really a Mishnah in Sanhedrin. Kol Yisrael Yeshlem Chelik Loilam Abba. All Yidin have a portion in the world to come. Shenema, as the Pasik says, Va'ameich Kulam Tzadikim. All of your nation are Tzadikim. And la'olam Yishu Oretz, and they inherit the land, which refers to Elam Haba. Neitzer Matoi, a branch from my planting. Maisi Yodai Lispar, my work that I take pride in them. That's the Mishnah with the Pasik, the Raya, to this uh, concept that all Yidin have a portion to Elam Haba. Was the funnest verstandig? So the fact that it's the minik to say this mishnah before we learn Pirkei Yavis as the teichan mishnah, the content of this mishnah, wegen dem schar fayyadn yidn loylam abba, that every yid gets the reward of loylam abba, is negayeh beyichud al tzakdame tzum limud from the sechta Yavis. Is specifically connected and it's said as an introduction to learning Pirkei Yavis. Dafim verstehen. So the question here is. Oilam Abba is doch the schar of kol aveide from Taira Mitzvah lachol prata. Oilam Abba is the reward in the world to come for all of Taira Mitzvahs that we fulfill with all of the details, all inclusive. Nit nor far mekayim zayin mili davis. So yes, it is connected to the things that are mentioned in Pirkei Yavis as well, but not specifically and exclusively to these things that are discussed there in Pirkei Yavis. If so, why do we say this Mishnah as an introduction before we learn the Pedic of Mesech Davis? Now, let's take a look in this Mishnah itself. Or first, the Rebbe will actually look at what the Teichen of saying Pirkei Yavis is, and then look at the Mishnah of Kol Yisrael. V'nigeya tzu di hairois from Mesech Davis gefint men tzveik tzavis. So regarding Pirkei Yavis, we find two opposite extremes. For Zayt is the Teichen HaMesechta. From one hand, what's the content of the Mesechta of Pirkei Yavis? In the Beloshna Rav, the Bartanura says as follows, Musrim Umidis, it's morals and ethics, proper behavior and so on. But then Anit Bim Mitzvah things that are not mentioned as any of the mitzvahs. Biz, as Chachme Umes HaOlam Ganken Chibru Svarim Shabadu Milibam Midarke Musa. These are subjects that even you find other wise people in the world that also authored books discussing morals and ethics that they came up with on their own. Kate said, Yisnaag Adam im Chavere, what proper conduct between a person and his fellow man. So that's the concept of what Pirkei Yav speaks about. The Inyanim of Midis Tevis and so on. Was the Neitekait zu bavarnen sich von Azalach Inyanim. So the necessity for a person to have him explain and clarify these matters is mitzad chumri is a shiflas adam. This is a result of a person that there's the coarse aspect of a person and the lowliness of a person that can bring him was can bring in some midas that can cause a person to come to bad behavior and to having uh, bad midas and the way he behaves towards other people and so on. That's on one end. So the, the reason, the necessity of learning Pirkei Yavis is to, to be sure that a person behaves appropriately and properly with the right morals and ethics. On the other hand, Zogn Chazal, the Gemara tells us, <clears throat> A person that wants to be extra pious, the Kayim Mili Davis, he should fulfill the instructions that the Mishnah gives in Masech Davis. Which means, as the Heroes from Masech Davis, that all of these things we learn here in Pirkei Yavis, then in Shaykh to the Darga from Chosid. These are for a person. It's meant for a person that's already fulfilling everything else in Teire. And he wants to go to the next level. He wants to be extra pious, to be a Chosid. He fulfills what it says in Pirkei Yavis. He serves Hashem beyond the letter of the law. So we see over here sort of two opposites regarding the purpose of learning Masech Davis. Or regarding what uh, the content that is, what the teichen of Masech Davis is about. The Zalbet Zveik Tzavis, Gefit Ben Menegeya, Dem Limut from Masech Davis. 
We also find regarding the minig that we have to learn Masech Ta'avis in this time of the year, between Pesach and Shavuos, and the Chlal in the summer months, so there are two opposites that we can see regarding the reason for learning it. From the time in Basmalat and Masech and the Shabbosis, so one of the reasons that's given for this that we learn Perkeyavis and these Shabbosim of these months between Pesach and, and Shavuos is Valdan is Azman when it's Verem Nisoyrer HaTaivis HaGufnis In this time period of the year when it's the beginning of the summer so this awakens the physical pleasures of a person that can take him into places that are too indulgent for him and not good for him. So this is the, the appropriate time to learn this Masechta, versus Meleya Techachis, it's full with things that rebuke a person and remind a person. And it reminds a person that a person should run after every good midah to do things that are right. That is the Teichen of why we learn Masechta Avis in this time. Aber, that's a one at. So this is made for people that are struggling, struggling with taivis, not to overindulge. So the Mishnah gives you the proper guidance for this. Aber on the other hand, though, is their minig Yisrael. As yedayit, the minig of learning Pirkei is not just for people that have to deal with taivis gufnis, with physical pleasures, overindulging in them, but this is a minig for every single yid, for them katan shebiktanim, the simplest and smallest yid was halt erst by, by Tchila Sa'aveda, that's only at the beginning of the Aveda, with the Godl Shebikdailim, to the greatest of people of Yidin, was steht legam rihecha from Taivas Agufnis, which is totally above and removed of any physical struggling with those physical things. Land Pirkei in them Zman. He as well also learns Pirkei Yavis in this time and takes the lessons from Pirkei Yavis. On the Asbare, indeed Zveik Tzavis, to explain these two opposite extremes that we see over here regarding Pirkei Yavis, and also how they come together, how we can see how they both have a connection to one another. This is the introduction that we say of Kol Yisrael Yeshlam Chelek Leilam Abba. In this mission of Kol Yisrael Yeshlam Chelek Leilam Abba, we can see how these two come together. Kedle Kaman, as will be explained soon. So to understand this, we'll understand Leitn Bir Hayedua from their Mishnah. So let's first understand properly. There is a famous explanation that's brought in the Chassidus regarding the Pshat of what this Mishnah is saying here. So first, Eilam Abba. When this Mishnah speaks about Eilam Abba, what is it talking about? Meint Eilam Sometimes Eilam Abba means Gan Eden, but over here Eilam Abba refers to the world to come after the time of Tchiyas HaMesim. Nishamas Begufim, when the Nishamas will be returned into bodies. And this is the Chiddush HaMishnah. And the Chiddush of our Mishnah is, Kol Yisrael Yeshlam Chelek Lo Eilam Abba. That every single Yid, without exception, has a Chelek for Eilam Abba. What does this mean? The schar from Gan Eden, when it comes to the reward of Gan Eden, which is Eilam HaNeshamis, that's a place where the Neshama alone gets reward for its Aved in this world, is Nid Glaich Bakal Yisrael. That's something which is not equal for all Yidin. Bezas is an Endah Zayne, was an Bechlal Nedzechit Zagan Eden. There are those, there are many levels of Gan Eden, and additionally, there are even those that are Bechlal not going to be Zechit to Gan Eden at all. But when it comes to Eilam Abba, which is Eilam Atchia, after the time of Tchiyas HaMesim when Nisham is well in Zayim Begufim, when the Nisham are put back into their bodies, is Be'ikroi Be'shove L'chol Yisrael. So this is something which is, primarily speaking, this is something which is equal for all Yidin. There are certain differences in levels, as the Rebbe brings there in Ha'are, but for the most part, in the essence of what this is, it's the same by all Yidin. Kol Yisrael Yeshlem Chelek Leilam Abba. All Yidin have a portion in the world to come. Tam Deruf is, what's the reason for this difference? Why when it comes to the reward of Gan Eden, are there differences in the levels, and even some that are not Zeichet to Gan Eden, when it comes to Eilam Abba, all Yidin are equal and all Yidin have a portion in Eilam Abba. The schar from Gan Eden, so it says the explanation as follows. When it comes to the schar for Gan Eden, which is Nishamis, Beli Gufim, this is for the Nishamis of the Eden, without their bodies, is Be'ikir of Limadat Taira. This is a reward for a Yid serving Hashem by learning Taira in this world. And the reason why it's specifically Limadat Taira that's connected to Gan Eden is because when you learn, it's primarily the Nishama that's active in the learning. With the intellect of the neshama that learns Taira. 
The person is not doing any physical activity, the body is not involved in the learning. It's Be'ikir, the Kayach HaSeichel, the intellect, which comes from the Neshama, that's in his learning of Teira. So therefore the reward as well is the Ruchni, is the reward for the Neshama in Gan Eden. Tchiyas HaMesim is the Schar for Kiyam HaMitzvahs. However, Tchiyas HaMesim, which is a Schar for the Neshama and the Gulf, is a Schar for a person fulfilling Mitzvahs. Vosvert Geton, Mit, und Durch und Guf Dafke which is fulfilled with, and specifically through, the physical body as well. So the neshama is rewarded for this when you have both together. The neshama and the guf together to be rewarded for the fact that he fulfilled the mitzvah not only with his neshama but also with his guf. That's why the, 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 um, the, when it comes to the mitzvahs, the schar is tchiyas ha-meisim. How does this explain the reason why Gan Eden is only a schar for some, or the schar is different levels? And when it comes to Elam Haba, Kol Yisrael, Yesh Lam Chelek, so now, so now when it comes to learning and understanding the Torah that you learn, Zenefaran, und Darfen sein, there are and there must be, Chalukin, Zwischen Ein Yidin, Metatzweiten, there are differences between the learning of one Yid and another, Bismen Akotza, Alakotza, there's a difference in the understanding of learning Torah from one extreme to another, so many different levels of understanding a concept in Torah. The Far, Zenenit Kol Yisrael, Gleichen dem Schar, Ev Der Aveda, so therefore not all Yidin are the same when it comes to reward, to the reward for this kind of Aveda, Gan Eden. Gan Eden rewards every individual on his level of learning, on his level that he understands and he connects to the Teire, that's the level of Schad that he receives as well. When it comes to fulfilling mitzvahs, so the primary focus of a mitzvah is an inyifu nasiya. It's the action that's done. Was yedere ken das tan? Every yid could do the action even if internally, emotionally, or, or in his mind he's not there, but the action every yid could do. On yedere yid tut das take. And when it comes to the action, we see that all yidin do mitzvahs in action. On his mekayim mitzvahs, they fulfill mitzvahs. Bez kemay merazal, as the Gemara says, as a fillet peishe Yisrael, melei mitzvahs kerimen. Even those that are referred to as Paisha Yisrael, sinners amongst Israel, even they are filled with mitzvahs like a pomegranate. So since this is a kind of Aveda that's equal by all Yidin, the river is called Yisrael, Yeshlam Chelek Leilam Abba. So therefore, all Yidin have a portion in the world to come because all Yidin are deserve to be rewarded for the Maisa mitzvahs that each Yid or all Yidin certainly do. However, the question over here is as follows. When is the real ultimate reward for Yidin for their Aved in the world come? Not in Gan Eden. Gan Eden is sort of a temporary schar. The real reward that comes at the end of all time is at the time of Tchiyas HaMesim. Is the full move on? So if so, we understand as the schar from Tchiyas HaMesim, the reward in the time of Tchiyas HaMesim is Hecher from the schar in Gan Eden. That's a greater and higher level of reward, more than the schar in Gan Eden. If so, the question is, So how does this fit with what we said before? Was Gan Eden is the schar if a Hecher and Eifan Aveide has Sogis HaTayre. Gan Eden seems to be rewarding a Yid for a higher level of Aveda where he learns and understands the Teireh that he learns, which is an Aveda of the Neshama. And therefore this is not equal for, for every single Yid. It's only every person on their level. If you could attain this level of learning, you'll get that level of Gan Eden. And the higher you go, the more you, more schar you get for this. So in that sense, seemingly Gan Eden is a higher level of schar. On the schar from Tchiyas HaMesim, on the other hand, it seems that when it comes to the schar of Tchiyas HaMesim, is if I see some mitzvahs, it's rewarding for the action of fulfilling mitzvahs, I feel poshet to the Aveda, a much more basic and simple Aveda of serving Hashem, um was is the fada by Ali Yidin. And therefore this is a kind of Aveda that is attainable and is possible and you have it by every single Yid. So what's going on over here? Is Tchiyas HaMesim the ultimate Aveda and the ultimate, again, the ultimate Tzachar that is, the ultimate reward for the Aveda and therefore it comes at the end of all time? Or is it in the reverse? Tchiyas HaMesim is a Tzachar, a much lower level of Tzachar for a much more basic Aveda of doing the mitzvahs b'maisa. Is the beer in them? So the explanation for this is as follows. Afalpi, even though, as when you look at things externally, 
is their tam was alle yidin gleich in zechayis and in yana yasi. So it would seem, what's the reason why all yidin are equal when it comes to fulfilling a mitzvah physically or an action? Is this the far of alasiyah is nidriker from ala kaiches? The reason is because action is the lowest of all of the energies of a person. As says an Indian, this is a level of, of uh, in, the, in the person, you don't have to have a feeling for this. You don't have to have a deep understanding for this either. But you just, the action, just go ahead and do it. So therefore, in that sense, it's the lowest and therefore it's attainable for everyone. However, what's the real, deeper reason for what's the, why every single year does a mitzvah? It, be, it comes from the fact that there's a deeper connection here, there's a higher thing that connects every single year equally, specifically to action. As we see, based on the Mishnah of Mesech Ta'avos, where it says, Action is the primary focus and the primary purpose of what Hashem wants of a yid. The Pnimi is HaKavona Al Yayne is. The deeper and reason and purpose of what Hashem created the world for is, as Yidin Zolomachana Adir Le Yisbarach B'Tachtainim. That Yidin in this world should create a dwelling for Hashem in below, in the lowest elements of existence in the world. In Elam Haza Tachten, Shein Tachten Lamata Mimeno. In the lowest place in the world, in a place where there's nothing lower than this. Ukemaimer, and as the statement that it says goes, and we say it in Slachadaydi, Saif Maise B'Machshav Etchila. The end of all the elements, everything that exists when it comes down to the physical, the lowest, that was the machshav et chilo. That was the first purpose of what Hashem created all the worlds for. On di kavane, and to fulfill this purpose of creation, it's fulfilled specifically when you fulfill the action of the mitzvahs. That's how you elevate and refine the body and the lowest element of existence in the world, we are clared in Tanya Barucha as the Alter Rebbe elaborates upon this in Tanya. So now, if since from the Eibishter's perspective, this is what the Eibishter ultimately wants, this is the real desire of creation, on Vail Ali Yidin Zene. So now, since all Yidin are, Beloshan Akosev, Haraye, Shebe Mishnah Seinu, to use the language of the Pasek here, the proof that the Mishnah brings for who Yidin are, Neitzer Matai, Maise Yoda Shal HaKadosh Baruch a branch of Hashem's planting, the Eibishter's Maise Yoda that Hashem with His hands created, the head yad yid the kavane on firti durech b'poyal. So every yid senses and has that connection. Who are yid? Yidin are one with Hashem, and therefore every yid senses that purpose that Hashem wants in creation of the world. And therefore, over here, there are two different levels in how a yid senses that truth of what Hashem wants of a yid in this world. In Giluyim, on a level that's outside of the source, where there's certain aspects of revelation of godliness. When, you have, when you're talking about certain levels that could be experienced and felt by a person, So here, since we're not talking about the connection to the very essence of Hashem Himself, but we're talking about a level of godliness which is expressed and could be felt and experienced by a person, so here, everybody connects and experiences and feels this in that level of His Neshama, that's, that's specifically His nature, the level of His Neshama. There could even be a person that on this level of, of revelation and expression of godliness, that he's not at all a keli, he's not at all a vessel to receive and to be susceptible, to be sensitive to this connection that his neshama has. And there, therefore over here, as the Rebbe said before, it's possible that someone will not be zeichet to Gan Eden. But when it comes to the purpose of creation, which is the purpose that the very essence of Hashem Himself, on the highest level, the Abish Himself has in creation, which is last, to create a dwelling for Hashem in this world. So this is sensed by the very essence of the Yid, which is connected to the very essence of Hashem. Since this is not a level of revelation or expression of Hashem on one level or another, but the source of this is the very essence of Hashem that desired this for creation. And the essence of the Yid is connected to the very essence of Hashem. So every single Yid in his essence senses this. And over here, this is not a level which is experienced or revealed on one level or another, but this is the essence. And over here, every Yid in his essence senses this equally. In the essence, all Yidin are one and the same. 
So therefore, even though it may seem that the fact that every Yid is able to do the physical action is simply because action is just easier and more basic than when you have to develop a feeling or an understanding which is much deeper and much harder. But the real reason why a Yid does a mitzvah and every Yid does a mitzvah is because in his essence he senses that this is the purpose of creation and therefore that's something that he can more easily do and more easily attainable and is equal by all Yid. So this, is also, this also is also the explanation of us that Tashlam Aschad and Olam Abba is to Nisham is Begufim Dafke. Why the reward in Olam Abba is specifically to the bodies, the Nisham is in the bodies. Mitzad Dem was the Kavan of Anayvishtun is because the purpose of Hashem in creation is as a Zolhaban Adir Betachtainim. That Hashem should have a dwelling in this world here below. So this is reflected also regarding Yidin as well. And the Yidin are one with the essence of the Eivishter himself. So here as well you have the same point that the Eivishter chooses a Yid to be his people. Is is the connection of the Eivishter with Yidin is not only the fact that the Neshama comes from a very high place, the physical body of a Yid has an extremely deep connection to the essence of the Eivishter himself and actually even higher than the Neshama. The Eivishter himself chooses the Guf of a Yid, the, the physical body of a Yid, to be his, to be holy. And therefore even the physical body of a Yid is nitzchis, it's an eternal existence, for the chavert nit nifsad, which never fully disintegrates. Okay, you do as it's known, as there etzem luz, there's a bone that's at the top of the spine of a person, which is called the etzem luz, that bone called the luz bone. Vet nit nifsad, it never becomes completely disintegrated. Um from dem etzem luz, vet niv neveren, de ganze guf betchies amesen. It's from this etzem, from this bone, that the Ebeshter reconstructs and rebuilds the entire body at the time of Tchies HaMesim, which means that the entire time the guf of a Yid really remains Nitzchi. It remains eternal and Hashem will rebuild the etzem which is there eternally. On the river, so therefore, Beshas as vetzich ending in the Aveda, when the Aveda will be completed. From bitter of zichach of refining and elevating the world. On the welt, that ver and adidali is barach, and the entire world will then become a dwelling for Hashem here. That eich by Yidin sein begolui, so we will also see regarding Yidin as well, visis di bechires akadish baruchu eich zeir guf. This will be expressed regarding Yidin as well, that Hashem chooses, and the connection of Hashem to the Yidin is not only their neshama, but even the lower aspect of their existence, even their body. So therefore, Olam Abba, which is a reward for the Aveda of Yidin, of serving Hashem in action in this physical world, expressing that sense that every single Yidin has to fulfill Hashem's purpose of creating a Dira B'Tachtainim, will be expressed by the Schar of the physical body of a Yid, receiving it together with the Neshama. This explains why we say this Mishnah of Kal Yisrael as an introduction to Mesech Tavis. In order to express the point, that fulfilling and learning what it says in Mesech Tavis, was brengt zu biru v'zichoch von chumri yisagof, which as explained before, the Bar Tanura says that the purpose of learning Mesech Ta'aviz is because this is the time period of the year where the chumri is the coarseness of a person, the indulgence can come out more in the time of the summer, and therefore it's necessary to give a person the kayach and the right guidance that he needs to guide his, himself even physically to do and behave properly, is negeya zu yadn yid. This to reach the body of a Yid, to elevate even your body, that's an important and big focus of the Aveda for every single Yid. So to explain why that is so, we give the introduction as Kol Yisrael Yeshtam Chelek Leilam Abba that every single Yid has a portion in the world to come which is Leilam Atchia, Neshamas Begufim, the time of Tchia Samesim which is the Neshamas with the bodies. The far was oich der guf and call Yisrael, and the point here is because even the physical body of every single yid is ma'ase yod eshal hakadosh baruch hu is Hashem's creation. That Hashem chose and Hashem created the body of every single yid, and the other rabbi, on the contrary, not even also the body of yid, but specifically dafke and ma'ase yodai in creating when Hashem creates the body of a yid. In action, which is the lashon used specifically for creating the body of a yid, is dar dele espar. Hey, this is the true pride, the true 
a connection to the essence of Hashem is expressed here even more. Vadim Dafke, Saif Maise is Machshavet Chila. The Saif Maise, the lower aspect of a person's existence, which is his body, that has a deeper Shaydish connected to the essence of David to himself. So that's, that explains why the Teichen of the Mishnayis of Pekayavis, which discusses how a Yid should connect to Hashem, even in his simple behavior, and even when it comes to the body that's drawn to all kinds of things, is relative to every, is, is, is important for every single Yid to learn, to see that he has to focus on bringing down the Kedusha and the connection that he has to the Eivishter, not only for his Neshama, but bring it down also in his body. And therefore, there is no Yid that could say that these uh, uh, guidance and these things that are spoken about here in Pirkei Yavis does not relate to me. I don't need to know this. It's not important for me. If it nekaims, I'm Davis to not fulfill the, the points that it speaks about in Masech Davis. Or in Deidik Tzavis, in both extremes of, of a Yidin that we spoke about in the beginning over here. Says Nitok, Kein Gov, was Kenet Nisbarev Adam. On one hand, that should nobody that should give up and say that I'm too low, and to me, maybe my neshama is holy, but to bring that holiness into my body, it's too low. There's nobody that could ever say that. But in their guf, from yad yid is my siyad kadosh baruch The body of every single yid is the, the Hashem physically created it. Is nit shayech as a zonet kenim nizbarevenim. So it's impossible to say that this creation of Hashem should not be able to be refined and elevated. Being that it is the Eibishter's creation is zikher as bal yidach mimenu nidach. Most definitely, this is the future that no yid will be pushed away. Every yid will be included in being elevated in tchias amesim with his gulf, with his body. On ervet sof sof zikher in his body and the physical body will definitely be elevated. So a person comes to learn Perkyavis, he says, Perkyavis is speaking about how I can reach my physical body that has so many taivas and is so indulgent and is so into the physical world to be connected to Hashem. So we must first learn, call Yisrael, to say yes. Every single year, this physical body is my Siyad HaShalakadosh Baruch Only Idach, on the other hand as well, Diyavayde is nitzu nidirik, farvelachese is yidn. Even a yid that comes and says that he's on a very high level, he's busy with his neshama, he's removed from this physical world, his avedah con- exi- uh, uh, consists of separating himself from the physical. And therefore he's not focusing on refining and elevating his physical body. That's too low for him. He's not interested in that. That's why we learn this Mishnah Pirkei Yavis to remind the yid and every single yid, even the greatest sadik, that no, the purpose is to bring and include and elevate your body as well. What's the real pious behavior that a yid connects to a like a chassid? When you serve Hashem, not only with your neshama, but you also bring it down to the physical body as well. Valdafke in Maisi Yodai, specifically in the physical existence of the body, which is created from Maisa of the Eibishter, is Da Delispar. That's the real connection, the pride, so to speak, of Hashem, the deepest connection, or Kanal, as mentioned before, Asayif Maisa, specifically the physical body of the Yid, to elevate this as well, is Machshavet Chila. That's connected to the highest, to the very essence of the Eibishter himself.